Hello guys, this will be third part of my KaiK tutorial and last uh, part, in second part uh, we have completed our circuit and we have associated all the footprints with uh, with, all, um, with all components and so the next thing you need to do is just develop your PCB board uh, before you start developing PCB board in KiCad you need to export your netlist so you need to click here on generate netlist and also it's a good thing before exporting netlist it's a good thing to perform um, an electric rules check so when you run electric rules check uh, usually the program will warn you about some errors so uh, it's, uh, it would, it's a good thing to just pass all, all these errors uh, errors and check are there any you know critical ones that will render your uh, circuit inoperative uh, here we can see that pin connected to some other pins but no pin to drive it and um, this is sometimes st standard uh, errors in, in KiCad I think we can safely ignore these uh, these two errors uh, right now but uh, each time you do this for your own, if you're not sure what you're doing, uh, you, you need to check that error detail in, in details and to make sure that it's not um, well, it's that's not breaking your circuit. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, now <coughs> we can go to netlist, and the only thing you you need to do is uh, click here on generate netlist, and that's it. So when you click the generate net, netlist, KaiCAD will offer you uh, default file name. You just click on save and that's, that's all there is to it. So the next thing we need to do is run our PCB new program. You can run it from here, from the main KaiCAD launcher, or you can run it from here. So. Uh, first time you run it on a new project you will get this warning well it looks like an error but you just you just ignore it press yes and KaiCAD will make you a new board so now the the background of your screen is black and you have a set of different icons to work with uh, this uh, uh, program this part of KaiCAD, KaiCAD if you're a beginner well, it works similarly like um, like any drawing program. Just it follows just uh, s just some simple rules. Again, we have some useful uh, keyboard shortcuts you need to learn. But apart of that, um, I think it'll be it'll be very easy. The first thing you need to do is to draw the outlines of your board. So we need to we need to know what the size of board will be working in. So KaiCAD will know how to work with the rest of your components i will just try to uh, to do as simple as, as as i can so first we need to find the size of our board and as i already told you i ordered this uh, multi-comp enclosure it's uh, 104 millimeters long and uh, 65 millimeters wide by 40 mil millimeter height and if i open it Maybe I already downloaded it's um, nope. Okay, and I will open the data sheet for it. Okay, I will zoom in. Okay, uh, so this is the most important thing we need to we need to know. So um, maximum size of our board is one hundred millimeters, and. Um, distance between distance between this distance between this hole and this hole is 30 millimeters and unfortunately we don't have a distance between uh, this outer part we don't have the size of this of this hole because uh, I believe if you check uh, 3d drawing like, let me just zoom, zoom out uh, a little bit if you check this uh, 3d drawing here this uh, I mean the section here you can see the screws that are uh, ho holding together this casing are these outer screws outer screws and inner screws these four 
are screws as you can see here on this very small 3d presentation uh, these uh, holes are for mounting PCBs so I cannot find any data about this holes right here uh, so there will be some guesswork involved we can see that it's six millimeters high and uh, I cannot see I cannot see diameter of I cannot see diameter anywhere of this hole so I think there will be some guesswork I will presume that this hole is three millimeters long but I will in any case um, before I do my board I will investigate thoroughly and uh, uh, maybe I will check on real casing when it arrives so uh, I will presume this uh, this part here is six millimeters wide and also this one so that means that uh, 48 uh, 48 millimeters minus six is 42 I will make four I will make it 40 millimeters wide and and also my PCB will be 100 millimeters long so on your right hand here in the Kaiket program you can see layers and each layer here represents a different part of your PCB your actual real PCB is uh, well is made of different layers one layer is copper layer then one is uh, uh, silk screen layer the other layer is uh, I don't know masking layer so all these layers put together they make your PCB and you draw your PCB layer by layer so um, I'll go step by step but the first thing you need to do on these layer is go to this edge cuts layer and click next to it to activate it so you can see edge cuts over here and if you hold your mouse on this ed cut, uh, edge cuts layer you can see boards perimeter definition okay I will uh, I will zoom in now and also I will change a grid I will change a grid to one millimeter grid okay and the same as before I, I have to draw a board outline so you, you can start anywhere it, it, well it, it doesn't matter I like to start somewhere in the center but yeah so uh, how do I do that first thing that I do when I choose one edge of my uh, one edge of my PCB I just press spacebar and that resets this coordinate in in the on the right uh, bottom uh, bottom side of uh, of program so first first thing that I do I press a space bar I get zero down there and then I click and start drawing a line um, so I know that my line is going to be 104 millimeters long so you can use your keyboard to to just go to 100 100 I press enter and then I will go 40 millimeters 40 millimeters up and then I will return here okay this is I'll press enter again and then I will connect that line back to where I started and I press enter I will double click and this completes our uh, this completes my PCB so this is final size of PCB and KaiCAD now knows that no wires are allowed around uh, outside of this uh, rectangle also what I like to do is to check the edges corners of rectangle so there that there are um, that there are no holes or gaps in, uh, between the lines because um, if there are some holes or gaps KaiCAD might not understand what, what do you want in and also your PCB manufacturer might complain that your uh, your edges are not uh, are not are not completed. Okay, so uh, the next thing we need to do is import netlist. I will press escape to get my normal cursor here, and then I will go here to read netlist. So when you read your netlist, uh, this PCB design program, this part of KaiCAD will pull all the values of 
all components, all footprints and no wires connecting your circuit and put it in a, in a file and then um, you will see uh, Kaiket then pull all your um, all your components and place them somewhere uh, somewhere on this um, canvas for you to place them. So I will just click read current netlist and there's a warning that this cannot be undone. So you cannot undo once you read your netlist. I will press yes. And there is an there's an error. I will just try to ignore it. Nope. Let me just Ah, yeah. Uh, I didn't make this CMP file. I, I need to read my. Uh, I need to read my components from netlist, not from the separate footprint file. So, so when I read current netlist, when I press yes here, I will close it. So Kaike just puts everything on one pile. So Kaike just uh, just puts all components on top of each other. So um, in order to move your com components wherever, uh, just spread them out, I mean, you need to choose this uh, mode footprint manual and automatic movement and placement and then choose everything. And oops, sorry, I'll do escape. Uh, you need to just right click anywhere. Sorry, you need to just right click anywhere. And go to global spread and place and spread out all footprints. And click yes. So now you can see all our footprints are spread out. Um, okay, so the next thing you do, uh, next thing you uh, we need to do is just just to drag and drop these components on our board, and um, I will go back to my schematic and check what are the inputs. So uh, uh, inputs now num are number P3 and P4. So P3 will be now. Are, will be our inputs. So the uh, keyboard shortcuts are the same. M are for move and R are for rotate. So I will place them here and also he here like this. Okay. And we have two outputs. I will place them like this one here and and two outputs one here this big capacitor will be somewhere in the center let's say here and then we have two resistors one resistor is here the second one is over here then diode and diode is let's say over here and there's a switch let's say i'll put for the time being i'll put switch here until i explain what's happening uh, <clears throat> i just pressed escape to uh, and the uh, switch just jumped back over here um, so you need to understand here what what are these uh, white lines, uh, so-called rat's nest. So these white lines are representing your connections, your wires in your schematic. So if you check this, um, VCC here line 
connects to diode 1. So, uh, I mean, uh, to diode uh, pad number 2. And if you go over to your schematic, so VCC, so it's input power, connecting P3, you can see P3 here, to diode pin number 2. As you can remember, cathode of, of our diode is pin number 1 and anode is pin number 2. It, so this is correct, it, it connects directly to pin number 2. Um, each time you move your compon components, by default, KiCad will just uh, sort of uh, switch off all other Rats Nest display except one, uh, your actual component. So if you move your component around, you, you will see that these reds, uh, the, these connections are moving as you move your uh, as you move your um, component. So let's say if I zoom here, you can see that that this this switch is now connected directly here with pin number one to pad number one on R one and with the pin number 3 to pad number 2 on R2 and if you go uh, to our schematic you can see that that's correct so pin number 1 is connected to R1 pin number 1 is connected to R1 with pin 1 so that's is, this is this connection and also it's connected to pin number 1 of R2 which is 1M R2 which is 1M and 1M is correct 1 mega ohm is correctly directly to ground as we can see that and also you can see that the capacitor is also connected directly to ground okay uh, so first thing that I, that I see right here is that I would like a bigger footprint for my switch I would like to have uh, something bigger for the switch so we can put uh, bigger lines here and, and solder them easier and as this will be a tool used in the workshop it will be thrown around so I, I would like to have these uh, this this switch wires to be uh, to be bigger and also this line will pass through all the current that the uh, that uh, is passing through this network to the, through this uh, uh, circuit so let's try to make it a bigger okay I will save this for the time being and I will close this program so we need to choose a diff different footprint for this switch right here let's try to find some other footprint um, with I will choose a terminal block so I will choose three pin terminal block or maybe this one no this one no uh, hmm. let's check the size of this from here up to here is 2.5 millimeters and the one that I'm using now is uh, connect and pinhead 3 from here to here is yeah this is the same 2.5 millimeters uh, let me just try to find let me just try to find something bigger but mm, I don't think so I, I will draw a new one let's go back let's go back here and I will uh, I will go to a footprint editor and I will choose oops uh, I will choose local library and I'll make a new component uh, three wire switch I will do it like this move this over here I'll move this over here um, just a second 
ok so uh, for the reference let me just check for the reference I will use SW okay and uh, this will be invisible okay so I will use a pad as before and then I will edit it and true when circular is fine I will put it to four millimeters and size of the hole will be 2.5 millimeters and this will be 4.5 millimeters yeah and also I will, let, let's make this square as because I did it uh, because I did it before so 4.5 I think this is the same so this is it 2.5 millimeters okay now let's move this over here and this over here um, maybe we can we can do this a bit smaller I'll put maybe a bit more wires so let's put this 4x4 four four and position it minus 3 minus 3 for the time being um, and I will choose my grid in size of 1 millimeter so I will move it like this okay so I will place a new one and these will be like a millimeter apart and and then I will place also uh, I, will, I will place a new one also okay so from this here to down here is 14 millimeters I think this is good enough it's 14 millimeters and we will see can this fit on our PCB if not we'll have to change it and also I will, I will place some holes over here so I will edit the pad and I will use this non-plated through hole mechanical so I will just make it circular and I will put size 3 millimeters so this will be 3 millimeter hole over here so I will move this just to be in line here and then I will just copy it here and over here so this is it this will be our wire connect our um, cable connector I will reduce the uh, grid just to 0 0.5 and I'll draw a uh, rectangular around it okay and uh, let me just move uh, Oops. let me just move this over here and this over here so three wire switch I will save save a library as a three wire switch and then I will change change the footprint so I will go to local and three wire library so this is the one we've chosen I will choose ok and then export netlist again generate it save it open our PCB again okay I will delete this switch I can do this two way I can delete this switch from here or I can just read the netlist and change footprints that are that are new so I will read current netlist yes and that's it so this can easily fit on our board uh, but we need to, to move this here I will move this over here I just freely moving there's no there's not much rule to it on this on board this size and so I will move it like this and then I will move this one and rotate it just to fit on my board okay oh, 
here and I will I will keep name I usually I don't put values here but as this is um, this is such a big as this is such a big board I will keep my values here for these resistors I will move this C1 and I will increase the size to 3 so okay move and I will also increase the thickness to 0 0.4 okay and I will not show invisible hidden texts so this is it let's also change this to 3 3 and 0 0.4 0 0.4 oops um, 3 3 and 0 0 0.4 so move, so it will be easily visible, okay, oops, move, and also I will move this one, edit it to uh, 3, 3 and 0 0.4, okay, so I will move this one also, I will rotate it here, and I will put 3, 3, 0 0.4, move it over here, um it's better to put it to put it somewhere here d1 also i will increase the sizes of all usually i don't do this i use default values but uh, i'll be etching my own board and maybe even uh, putting a silk screen on it let's pu let's put it somewhat bigger so 3 3 0 0.4 uh, move it over here and then uh, this one we moved here and also 3 3 0 0.4 uh, <coughs> okay that's it uh, <coughs> the same thing excuse me i will do on this side 3 3 0 0.4 now we'll move it and then add it, um, 3 3 0 0.4 this is time consuming you can set default values but yeah it's too late right now okay and uh, these will be smaller to 20.3 move and also here to 20.3 so move it like this okay uh, <clears throat> i don't know if you notice there are some things missing on board i will save this if you if, if you want to mount the board we need a hole on our you know on our component so a uh, hole on our in our pcb so um, i i'll find the center line here i'll reset with the space bar and just check this is 40 millimeters so on 20 here i will go to drawings user this layer i will i will make it active and i will just put a center line oops i will just put a center line over here just for this moment for for my reference okay so we have a center line and this will not be visible on the final board this is just uh, this is just for just for convenience so from the center line my holes are, are uh, uh, 15 and 15 millimeters uh, away and also uh, my board is long and my board is 100 millimeters long and i need my uh, holes to be spaced 91 millimeters so we need to use different grid 0 0.5 grid will be enough and um, so my hole will be uh, five millimeters from the edge of a board and uh, and will be uh, 4.5 millimeters from this edge of the pcb let's let's uh, repeat it so i know that my pcb is 40 millimeters this way and 100 millimeters this way long 
So 90, uh, 100 minus 91 is 9 and divided by 2 is 4.5 millimeters. So distance from this, uh, from, from the, oh, now I see this is not, uh, let me check again. Let me check again. Something's um, something's not not right here. Um, well, I, I'm not sure. On on drawing, it seems to me that uh, th uh, these holes are not lined up, but on well on drawing itself there is only one measurement so i will go with this i think this is uh, this is actually lined up all these uh, all these uh, supports are lined up i'll presume it when i receive uh, my case i'll i'll check on it so i will go with that measurement so five millimeters from the edge of the board and 4.5 from this side so uh this will be very easy i will um, <clears throat> I will let the component and I will select it by browser mm -hmm. and there are mountain holes over here and I will I will choose mountain hole three millimeters this one so yeah and this mountain hole needs to be from this point so 4.5 millimeters 4.5 millimeters this way and 5 5 millimeters this way so our 3 millimeter mounting hole will be over here and so we can repeat this process with all so I'll just click OK to get the last value. I will put it here in a corner, press spacebar, and going over here for uh, 4.5 millimeters and then down for 4 millimeters, press enter. Uh, again, so here press space, this way 4.5 and this way, this way 4. I'll press I'll press enter. Oops, okay. I'll, I'll click. And also here, press space 4.4, 4, and this is 4.5. 4. Okay, that's it. I'll press escape. We have our mounting holes. Uh, but um, I will make this invisible. So invisible. Invisible. And also invisible. Okay. That's it. I can delete this line here. I was just using it as a reference. So let me check. Uh, I will keep it for a second, just a second. I um, I will just hide this layer. Okay. So now we can start drawing our components. And usually before uh, drawing our wires, usually before you start drawing your wires, you need to to do some some basic things. I will not go. Uh, go uh, through them completely but I will uh, I will just show you basic concept concepts you have to go to design rules over here and here you can set set up your nets and default uh, default how should I say uh, track widths and clearances of your wires. Uh, so let's say we wanted to 
to make default, uh, let, let's say I want to make on, on all of my uh, wires here, let's say I want to make a def I want to default them to be three millimeters, uh, three millimeters wide, or even better, two millimeters wide. So I will put track track width here. As long as this is in millimeters here. Uh, all the rest of our program will be in millimeters. So if I put here two, let's say I want to have also two millimeters clearance, and I will uh, the rest I will keep the same. So uh, you can also add some other net classes, and then you can choose different thicknesses for different types of wires. Uh, I, I won't be doing that. I, I just want to use wider lines on all of my uh, all of my connections right here. So I just did this. Uh, I will click OK here, and then um, default value over here will be two mil will be two millimeters. So let's connect first this one to this one. I'll press X to. To enter into wire drawing mode, or you can press here wire at tracks and vias. With letter V, you change between layers. V is uh, Victor. You change between layers and you put vias down. I won't be using any vias on this simple project. At least that's what I think. Let's let's start drawing. Uh, again, I'll press X, and then I will just draw my line straight from here to here and you can see what the problem is now because in my design rules excuse me I will press escape to get uh, the normal cursor in the, my design rule specifies that my clearance is two millimeters but my diode over here doesn't have two millimeters between pads so that's why it doesn't allow me to connect to it so I need to reduce clearance let's say to one millimeter and then try to draw my wire again with the X so you can see um, I don't know can you see this around this uh, around this wire that I'm placing right now there's a, like a thin line uh, surrounding it that's the clearance that's this one millimeter clearance so uh, this is fine and I will connect to it right now and you can see if you double click you finish the line and it stays connected um, so I can see over here that I will have a problem because I I, mm, I think I cannot put the line over, all over here without going too close to these uh, without going too close to these holes over here but I will connect the rest and then we will take care of this I will change a footprint and space it and space these three much wider so let's go and connect it straight away okay this is fine this one is connected to this one is connected to here and then let's say to here and then to here and then we'll connect it all the way up here and you can see as I connect as I connect uh, these components with real copper lines um, the this other copper lines they disappear these uh, red nest lines the white lines connecting components they disappear so um, let's do this here, here, and over here, and the rest. Well, the rest should be pretty simple to do, but let's let's think what let's think about it. Um, I will delete this line with delete. I will press escape and then go with cursor here and press delete. So I will spice. I will uh, space this wider like this so this line and this line so uh, this pad and this pad are connected through here and also this pad is connected to this pad as you can see in the red list so I will press X again 
and then I'll connect it. You can see yellow lines and the yellow lines are showing all the paths you can connect this this to. If I go over here, you can see uh, with yellow, uh, you can see yellow lines connecting also to this pad over here. So let's go. Uh, I will connect it. Uh, I'll connect it like this. Okay, and then I will go from here. I will connect it to here. And I will connect this straight away here. And from the center of this one, I will go over and connect it here. Okay. So actually, this is all that we need. Uh, now I will go in and change and change this component and sp and space it uh, space it a bit wider. The other thing we can do, I can use the thinner line here. Let's say uh, if I put some other copper, uh, uh, if I put some other copper wire over here and another thickness then I could uh, I could pass between but let's um, let's try to change the footprint first I will exit from here and I will go over here and I have my footprint I will delete the line and then I will move, um, I will move and then I will check the distance from here to here there should be a Three millimeters gap. So no, uh, uh, three millimeters is over here. So move, I will move to here. So from this part to this is four point five. So so yes, yeah, four point five. I will use 4.5 yeah okay um, you will see why because uh, my track is two millimeter wide and there is one millimeter clearance around it so altogether is four millimeters and I'll put one millimeter one millimeter more okay let's extend this uh, okay okay I'll escape I will save it. Three wire switch. And oops, I will actually go over here and uh, I will export netlist again. Save. And then I will read the netlist. And I will change footprints. Read current netlist. Yes. Close. So it didn't change the footprint. I will delete it from here. Yes. And I will read the netlist again. Change the footprint. Yes. Close. And is this good, is this good enough? Move. And I will rotate it. I think this is bigger right now. Let's put it. Okay. So let's press X and try to. Oops, I will press V to go to another layer. I will press here and try to fit this in. No, doesn't allow me. Doesn't allow me to. But I can. It doesn't allow me because the clearance. You can see this. These lines around here. Are the clearances so I will reduce the clearances so on these pads I will uh, edit edit this component again and edit this component so local clearance and settings um, give me just a second okay so uh, net pad clearance I will put it to 0 0.1 millimeter just in yeah uh, and I will put a thermal relief if, if there's no th this doesn't matter uh, in this part so here uh, also local clearance 0 0.1 0 0.1 and also here 0 0.1 0 0.1 
and over here also local claims 0 0.1 and also here mm, 0 0.1 0 0.1 and also this one local claims 0 0.1 0 0.1 okay so once we put the clearance uh it clearance will remain in ticket program on this particular component so because uh, this component is using clearance uh, that was pulled off from general rules file so let's try to read the netlist again and change the footprint nope so we need to we need to delete it and let's try to read the netlist again read current netlist yes close you can see there's no spacing there's no clearance now on a footprint so let me rotate it where it was okay okay this is good enough and now i can use my line and i think it will just barely pass around nope i can use the finer grid so 0 0.25 and let's try to do it again yeah now it fits okay this is it and i will use this big component okay so this is our this is basically our our circle board um, there's not much to it as you can see this this can be done very easily so uh, this is more or less the end of our component the next thing you can do and it's very interesting is to view uh, in 3d viewer our board so once we develop our board it will look like this So you can see that uh, uh, 3D components for these two resistors are already put into program, but there are no 3D components for these two or, uh, okay, for this one I don't need it, for, for, but for this one or uh, for this diode and this capacitor. So uh, I, will, I will finish this tutorial part three here and i will um i will develop an hd sport and i will make a short presentation of it and that will be a uh, tutorial part part uh, four so if you have any questions uh, uh, or any suggestions put this in comment or find me or on uh, find your my google plus page google plus page and uh, if you needed anything explained, I will, you know, I will try to find some time to explain, to explain to you. Um, okay, thank you guys and see you next time.